Now consider that I have a function with two variables, all right? Uh, so what is the necessary and sufficient condition for uh, local um, uh, interior max and local interior minimum? Well, first of all, we need to define the concept of partial derivative, all right? So what is partial derivative? Well, as you remember, the derivative of a function is basically the rate of change um, of, of, of the variable. But when I have a function with two variables, let's say x and y, well here the, um, the, the change uh, in uh, which variable, because there are two of them. So I can change x while keeping y fixed, and I can change y while keeping x fixed or I can change both, right? Um, so therefore, the uh, rate of change um, here in terms of which variable, that, that uh, distinction is important. So if you are fixing variable y and then changing x a little bit, well, we call it a partial derivative with respect to x, and this is how we denote it. So it's not d, all right, it's just a matter of notation, but we call, uh, we write del, so del f divided by del x, which basically tells me that I'm fixing y and changing uh, the x value by epsilon, all right? And then uh, del f del y means, this is partial derivative with respect to x, and this means I am keeping x uh, component fixed, so I'm not making any increase in the x, uh, x uh, axis, but I'm making a, a, an increase in the y axis, keeping x fixed, so this is partial derivative with respect to y, all right? So if this is my function example, x plus 2x uh, to the power 1 half and y to the power 2 third plus y, so the uh, del f del x, the partial derivative with respect to x, is basically treat y as if it is a constant and then therefore this is just a function with one variable and take its derivative with respect to x. So it's 1 plus the derivative of this, the 2y to the power 2 thirds is constant, so it's just x to the power 1 half, that means 1 half times x to the power 1 half minus 1, which is minus 1 half, so everything is multiplication here, plus uh, the derivative of y with respect to x is just 0, all right? And similarly, del f del y is, this time I'm keeping x constant, so this is 0 plus uh, 2 to the power y to the power minus one third uh, times 2 times x to the power 1 half plus 1 because the derivative of y is equal to 1, all right? Okay, so what is the necessary condition for interior max or minimum? So very similar, uh, in a one-dimensional world, I had the function has to have this uh, tangent line slope zero thing so that it's a global, uh, I'm sorry, a local max or local min, right? So similarly here, I have a two variable function, but I have three dimensional uh, uh, graph. In a three, uh, three dimensional graph, what I need is that uh, the slope in x dimension only and y dimension only are zero, all right? So therefore, uh, the partial derivatives R0. So x0, y0 is a critical point if it satisfies these two conditions, or both of them. And, all right, well, is it sufficient? No. I mean, can I say once uh, the x0, y0 is a critical point, can I say that it is global max or global min? Which one? Hmm. Well, I can say this point x0, y0 is global, I'm sorry, local maximum if the second derivative, right? Remember f double prime x less than zero, that would give me the uh, a sufficiency condition uh, for being a local maximum. So very similar here. This time I'm looking at the second derivative uh, with respect to x. It is, so sometimes we denote it by f sub xx or f11, which means the first variable here is x, the second variable is y. 
So the uh, partial derivative, but the second partial derivative with respect to the first parameter, which is x, or this way, or this way, as you wish. So they must be zero, uh, I'm sorry, negative. And similarly, when you take the partial derivative with respect to y, it should also be negative. Um, so both of those must hold, but that's not enough. So remember, we can change uh, the function on x direction or x dimension and then y dimension, keeping the other fixed, or we can change both. So here, what it says is like, hey, look, if I look at the partial derivative, second partial derivative, with respect to x, multiplied by uh, y, uh, partial derivative with respect to y, minus partial derivative with respect to x first and then y second, or y first x second, doesn't change anything. Um, so therefore, I just multiply them. So for this reason, I have square. Uh, this is the, uh, the sort of the determinant of the Haitian matrix, if you remember. So it has to be positive. So therefore, if my point x naught y naught satisfies these two conditions, I call it critical point. If it satisfies these three conditions, I say, okay, it is my interior local maximum. Okay, what about minimum, you know, local minimum? Well, in this case, um, you know, the signs should be on the other way around. So this should be positive, this should be positive, and this should be negative. That's it. So that's the uh, second order condition for minimum. All right, so very similar to the idea of uh, uh, sufficient condition in one uh, variable case. It's just that because I have two variables, I have now partial derivatives and everything has to be defined with the partial derivatives.